Right, well, welcome to another sort of vloggy type video. I know this one's a bit unusual, but uh, I just sort of realised I didn't have a video ready for uploading, so I've had to do this, and I'm trying something new out. So hopefully we can get some better videos. I do apologise for the mess. I've not been feeling too great the last few days, so I... I haven't really bothered tidying up as much as I should. But that doesn't mean that I know what this vlog's going to be about or anything like that. Just uh, basically I'm doing this as something a wee bit different. Because I like to try to stick to my schedule and this is like a vloggy type week. So yeah, it's going to be a vlog. I do apologise for the sort of like camera, it's just going to be me sitting here really, so if you click off now, I really don't blame you, but the problem is when I babysit and that, I used to do some recording walking down, every now and again, I thought, oh that's a great idea, using the GoPro on the selfie stick, and then suddenly realise that get, when I'm walking down to do that, you know, the lighting's not there for the best of views, so... <laughs> I sort of lost that, <laughs> but also with the cars, it's, well, the cars, it's the same problem with the lighting, it's quite difficult at times, especially this time of year with it getting dark as quick here in the UK, but I'm going to say I did crack myself out an old dripper the other day and it's running sweet. The flavour of that thing is immense. But this is what I've seen before in my sort of vape videos. As I've got the TFV18 here. The flavour out of that is just as good as out of a dropper. If not better. So that's just my opinion on it. I like it. I'm not really worried about smoke alarms at the moment because I've sort of covered them again as I do for my vape reviews. It's, if you've not checked out my latest vape review, go and check it out. Especially at the start, I want to know what people think of that. I've done something different at the start, so yeah. Another wee update is, I've got a couple of Mearsoft guns away for repair at the moment, so hopefully that'll be the start of some Airsoft videos coming back on the channel. Hopefully, hopefully. And I'm not going to be one of these Airsofters that go out and just hunt for like, cheater videos or anything like that, because they really do give the sport a bad name, you know. Yeah, I understand that that's what folk look for on YouTube and all that. But you've got to understand that, by the same token, it gives sites bad names, it gives the sport a bad name, because somebody just get into it looking up airsoft videos to get an idea of what the game's about. All they're getting flooded with is, oh, airsoft cheat, world's worst cheat. Biggest cheater I've ever seen videos, and nine times out of ten, they're not actually that bad, you know, it's like, reasonable doubt is there, you know, it could be somebody's not felt the hit or something like that, just my opinion on a lot of them. Where well, I wanted to do like, a bit of gameplay footage, you know, show what the games are actually like, if people are happy to be on camera, maybe do some filming of what the sites are actually like, things like that. You know, just try and actually get an idea for them. And that way there's a slight way of going out my way to show new players that watch my videos, you know, if I'm lucky enough to get out there for new players to see them, what the games are actually like. I mean, I know not everyone classes airsoft as a sport, but as, in a way, a sport type thing, I mean, it is a bit more physically demanding depending on your game style. I mean, obviously you've got speed softers there, which is greater demanding than Sunday Warriors, you know, but at the end of the day, a lot of the time you're still out there being quite active, walking around, running around, diving for cover, all that. So that's my plans, hopefully soon, but we'll see how it actually turns out. <coughs> and for those wondering, Nico is lying down at my feet at the moment. <laughs> So I was just looking and double check that because I've got the PC on and 
yeah, that's my spill rag for the dripper, <laughs> if any of you are wondering why I've got a cloth on my knee. Uh, but yeah, Rico seems like lying down by my PC unit, so he must be enjoying the heat from it. Which, yeah, okay, fair does to him. So, it's not going to be much of a video this one, I don't think. I mean, it's just sort of like a funny one. I'm sorry if you can hear a buzz in the background. Uh, another slight thing is I'm trying to change phones into an Xperia here uh, from an S9 because the S9 is dying of death rather badly, so I need to change my phone. And, yeah, Kel had an, an Xperia lying about, so she was nice enough to let me use that. So, yeah, it's, this is just sort of like a vloggy type one. I am hoping, I know I've been saying this for a while, but I am looking to try to do more with the tractors and that down at the farm for these, but it's not always easy, that's the thing, because a lot of the time I like walking down and doing things like that, and I've got to carry the camera bag and all that, but I am thinking of doing something else that will give me more free range. I'm not going to say too much just now, and I really hope I'm not walk out the camera too much with the vape. Uh, my last vape, I'm still on the... A week later, I'm still hammering through the bottle. Is my Signal Vape Vanilla Toffee Cheesecake. It's fucking phenomenal, all that stuff. But I do have the next vape review sort of lined up as well. Uh, and on and up, Mo. The Snow Wolf is back. She's working again. Well, to be fair, she hadn't stopped working. What it was is uh, there was a screw holds the base plate on here. It had come loose and the base was starting to lift away from the body. So I had to wait till I got the right... I thought I had an Allen key or something to fit it. I didn't. I had to go out and buy a precision screwdriver kit, which was about 20 quid. It's quite... An, for the money, it's a decent size kit. And luckily it came with all the right sizes, so I managed to tighten up the screw in that. I was hoping that it was just the screw at this point. Uh, tightened up the screw, and yeah, it's back the way it should be, so... I'm really quite happy with that. Like I said, these vlog videos are more just for a... Sort of, you know, updates and things like that. Thursday's thoughts, I know I keep mentioning that in videos as well. I keep trying to make them, but... They're a wee bit more difficult than I'd like them to be to make, so I'll have to take them as they come. <coughs> but that's not to say that I'm not going to do them. That's just saying that I'm trying to think of a good way of doing them. Uh, but what I was going to say, I know I'm a bit all over the place, is this Sunday coming, the day this uploads, as I am hoping to go live tonight, It'll be a bit later on, probably about half ten, eleven-ish, round about that time, if I manage it. But I'm going to need to see what I can do on that one and take it from there. Because, obviously, the vlog videos are not the most common, they're not the most, well, most popular, should I say, not the most common. That's not really saying things properly. So I'm going to try and do it alive with a few drinks and a few laughs with people, so... Yeah, that is on my Facebook, so if you want, jump over there and hit me up and hopefully I can thing me and actually get the live on and get that going. Depends how I'm feeling as well, because like today, the day of recording this, which is actually the day before it goes live, I am absolutely knackered. Uh, you never know. I'm, if you're squeamish, then... Don't wait till the end. If you want to see my snake getting fed help hanging around, is I've only managed to get mice at the moment, just due to problems getting rats. He's usually on small rats, but he's on a extra large mouse, so he should take that, and I will try and film it. So we'll take that as it comes. Use a selfie stick and a wee tripod, which I do have kicked about. So yeah, stick around if you want to see that. See how a snake feeds. And, yeah, hang around to the end to see that, because I'll put that right at the very end of the video, because it, obviously it's going to be another video clip, because uh, the camera's not going to stay where it is just now, which is on top of one of my PC monitors, which, if you notice in some of my videos, I actually have a light sitting on top of some of them, that's because sitting like this, 
the lighting is all behind me or to the side makes it very, very difficult. So I managed to put a wee light on top of my monitor which provides all the light I need. Which brings me to the next subject of actually doing YouTube videos isn't as easy as I first thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like record random crap and things like that. It's actually more time consuming than like with the editing and even the editing is more difficult than you first think. But that's why if you look back at some of my original videos, the editing's really choppy. I've got not a lot of screen present, things like that. Where now I really feel I do. I'm starting to try my hand at new things. I'm even getting into a bit of sound editing. So that's why in some of my videos I go, oh, sorry if you can hear this, then I'll edit the sound and you can't hear it. So, But it'd be so slow. If I didn't apologise for it, you'd hear it clear as day. <laughs> and I'd be sitting going, how do I edit this, this one out? Because I am just learning with a lot of it. So, yeah, I mean, just last so a few days on my desk has gathered a load of crap. But on the good news, mold defunct. PlayStation controller, I do have a replacement that one of my best mates has bought for me as like a birthday present, I think. And, well, I know he's got it, I just think it was for my birthday. It could have been for Christmas due to lockdown, we'll see them. Which is pretty poor because we're coming up to the next Christmas. I've got all his birthday and Christmas under my desk, boxed up. But I did go out my way and buy yet yeah, another controller. It's just a cheap one, but. Yeah, hopefully that will mean I can get a bit more gameplay footage again without it being folks sitting going, well, why the hell are you doing that? You know, that just looks poor. <laughs> it's because my L3 button on my controller is primarily buggered. So I did go out and buy another one just as a replacement till I can get my actual official one. And I might use that one on the PC for games. <laughs> so yeah, that should be coming up. That might actually take the this slot instead of being vlogs if I get first these thoughts are up and running. But something a couple of folk have messaged me about is my handheld camera. Yeah, the reason why I don't use that as much, which is just here, is the actual zoom on this, even when it's got as wide of a field of view as you can get, is probably times three times four on what the eyeball would see, so it's sometimes it's difficult to use this, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's easy. But the other problem with it is, as you can't put a mic on it, because even my GoPro, I've got a microphone sitting to the side of the computer running that at the moment. So, yeah, all differences, all problems that I have with that. But that's not to say it's not of use, it's just not of as much use. Because <laughs> I'd much rather have that up where the GoPro is running that as way the screen out so I could see myself but that's not exactly helpful because it's like zoomed way in I'll end up sitting way back and it's like you see me sort of having it's like I can't put anything down so I can't reach my desk like my vapor anything so I end up having a sit with my coffee and all that it's rather annoying but again on saying that I do have plans at some point in the future to replace that and get another one and just use that as a working type one so we'll take that as it comes I mean I don't know if we'll get one with a better field of view for myself sorry I'm just having to move slightly so I can actually move my feet without kicking the dog so yeah I think that's going to be about it for this video it's not going to be a very big one uh, primarily because vlogs especially when you're sitting in one location it's quite difficult to do and keep entertaining, especially if you're not feeling that great. But I did want to upload my video because I'm trying to keep the schedule going of at least one video a week on a Sunday and take it from there. <coughs> but yeah, so that's going to be about the size of it this week, I think. Thank you very much for coming along. Don't forget to hang around if you're interested to see the wee snake getting fed. He's only a wee guy, a wee royal python. And if he's interested in him, I might, <coughs> excuse me, I might start doing more videos with him as well, because he's actually a really friendly wee snake. Uh, but he is due fe a feed, so hence why I'm going to put in a feeding video of him. Not for any other reasons than it's something different to put in. And 
The reason I'm saying it if you're squeamish and things like that is it does get fed frozen mice. They're not frozen when it gets fed them, but they're frozen when you buy them. So if you're not in seeing a snake eat a mouse, do not stay for that. Because uh, if you want to complain about it, I'm just going to ignore it. Because that's the way nature, nature is that way. In the wild, the snake would go out and find a living one. These are pre-killed and I have to do actually quite a few. I have to eat up his mouse and that for him to eat it. <laughs> but hopefully he will eat because sometimes he doesn't, which would be a bit disappointing for myself and you. But I don't see that being a problem because he usually is quite a good snake for feeding. Uh, so yeah, hang around if you want to see that. If not, I'll see you later on. And until next week, probably, that's going to be a lot. Uh, I think next week's video is an ALB video. No, next week's video should be a vape video, sorry. Which, I've gone out and got yet another dinner ladies for it, because I've been quite impressed with the dinner ladies range. But the other question is, is do you want me to start doing more ordinary stuff, like juice, coffee, things like this, or do you prefer it when I do it with a drink? Let me know. Uh, you know, because I might just keep them for try to do a live once a week as well, and or once fortnight, something like that. <coughs> and I usually have a few drinks in them, so I could keep the my thoughts of the the vapes with drinks for doing the lives. Because you always get a bit of a lull bit at the start when you first go live until folk join in, and then I usually start working off the comments. And you know, when I do a live, I know I keep saying see you later and all that, but and then carry on. But when I do my lives, usually I sit with my a wee bit of music on, uh, a wee bit of, well, just my music and just have a chat. The dog floats around doing what he wants to do, which usually annoys the camera. Uh, but a lot of the time, I have my own live running on our Facebook, because it's a proper Facebook profile I've got for doing lives. And I sit and read the comments from other one on my monitor when they come through, which I find is quite handy because I'm on, when you're doing a live, or what I've found with my lives, is Facebook shows you, like, on my personal one when I'm doing it, I get the comment quite quick and then I answer it, and then it shows up in the comments a couple of minutes later, so it can, it mixes things up where the way I find if I do that, I see the comment at the same time as everyone else does and answer it then. They sort of read it out and answer it at the same time. So people can keep up with what's going on. The downside to that is sometimes you're halfway through a conversation, you get distracted by a comment, or you ask a question and you get distracted by a comment, and then somebody answers the question and you go back to it and you're totally confused to what the hell you were talking about in the first place. And, yeah, it becomes confusing. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm going to try and go live. I think I've got a few tins of cider I can do that with. So that could be quite interesting, quite... Yeah, it'd be good to go live again. I've not done it for a while. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully I still get my few regulars come on and view it. But if I don't, I understand I've not been live for a while. And, yeah... I'm just a laugh when I go live. I don't play games that much. I don't do this, don't do that. Well, there is uh, people out there that do play games and some people find that more entertaining. So anyway, that's it for this week. I'll see you all next week with my new vape review. And until then, peace! You'll see it. And that'll be a yes then. Well, he took that alright. And that'll be a yes then. Well, he took that alright. Let's leave him alone then.